we are gonna test out Twitch's guest star. So this is we're gonna start, okay? Um, so again, keep in mind that this is super early, okay? This is still an alpha. Uh, it's only been released to a small number of people at this time. Um, so it doesn't have all the features that they have talked about or you may have seen through screenshots or videos. Um, it it has functionality, um, but you know, there's probably going to be bugs. There's probably going to be wonkiness. Um, I've been tinkering with it a little bit off stream to kind of make sure we're in a decent spot to do the test, but I've not done an actual test, which is going to be totally different than testing off stream because, you know, it's a peer to peer video sharing mechanism. So it's going to rely on my connection to not only stream, but now also have up to five other people uh, connecting to me, basically. So it's uh, it's going to be a journey, OK? Uh, my intention is to break it uh, I, if we have all five people uh, in here. So <laughs> this should be fun. So here we go. Um, let me pull it open here. So how it works is when you get access to guest star as a streamer, I'm going to show you guys here. Let's break it. Yay. So if you guys get access to guest star, you're going to see it uh, in a as a button here in your dashboard. OK, so um, thank you, Jake the Fly. Thank you so much for the resub. Let me pause, let me mute my alerts. Soundboard's off. OK, so you're going to see it here as a button in your dashboard. It says start a guest star session to invite dot 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 invite viewers onto your stream. OK, that's the button. Uh, so we're going to click that and we're going to do a session. So it's going to pop out this little window here. And this is how you control your guest star is through this this uh, this browser tab here. OK, so we're going to we're going to go full screen so that you guys can see we're going to go full full screen so you guys can actually see what it is like. OK, here you can control how many guests you have on at a time. OK, so if you only want one guest on, you can just set it up so that it looks like this. It doesn't matter really like if you have this format or this. It doesn't matter um, how you have it to invite people. So you could have it like this and only invite one person is what I'm saying. It does not matter. OK, um, and then so how it works is these links. These are links you don't want to share publicly. And there's a reason why they don't show the, these links. Um, these are going to be your browser source links. So as a streamer, when you're setting up, you're going to basically copy this make a new browser source uh, in your OBS and paste the link and then, you know, set the dimensions and that's how it works. OK, so then when someone joins, you get to toggle on and off whether they show up on the stream. That's through the browser source. OK, I don't know if there's any issues with having that link be public. It just wouldn't like I, I'm not sure if there would be like some sort of risk or anything like that, but I'm obviously not going to share those links just to be safe. OK, so um, here we have our own options here. This is like our own camera. We can we can turn it off. We can turn it back on. Um, same thing with the microphone. You can choose your sources. So here we go. When you first start guest star for the first time, it will it will have a dialogue and it will walk you through. Hey, this is guest star. Um, you know, let's sync up your your webcam, your microphone, get that all set up. OK. Um, if I'm muted, then there's a little mute button here in the corner. You can see that there. Um, and when I'm talking, it, you know, I get the, I have this purple frame and I have this here. These name tags are pretty cool too. So again, this is all done directly through Twitch. So when you get an invite, you get it, you accept it through Twitch. It's your Twitch account. It's all synced up, right? Like, so there's, um, I know that they talked about ways to kind of filter how you invite people that is not present in the current alpha. So I can't walk you through the different filters. The way to invite people is to hit the invite guest button and type their name manually. Um, and that's how you're going to invite people. So I don't think that there right now that there's any way for you guys to sign up, right, to get into a queue to join or request joining, um, which is kind of like I think one of the biggest features that I'm looking forward to is like if you want to join, 
you know, there would be a basically a button at the top of chat and you can opt in, get everything set up and it would show you in a queue of people of like, hey, these people want to sign in. And you can choose who gets access to that sign in via either there. They have to be a follower. They have to be a sub. They have to be a mutual. So you each have to follow each other. Um, and so that customization is not currently there. Once you get your browser sources set up, um, then you can start to invite people. Okay. So let's say Christy Schuyler is going to be kind of our first guinea pig here. So I'm going to look up Christy Schuyler and I'm going to invite her. And like I said, this is all done through Twitch. So, so you're not going to get like an email or anything. It, you, I guess you have to be on Twitch at the time. Pre presuming, presumingly you are in the chat of the person who is doing the, the guest star thing, right? So send the invite to Christy. Christy's going to join here. I'm going to mute. Well, I guess I don't have to. Okay. So we invited Christy. Now she is in our queue. You can see that on the right side here. It says waiting for guests to connect. So she has not yet accepted our invitation to join. And now she has. So now it says she's getting ready. Okay. So she right now is setting up her microphone and her webcam on her end. Um, yeah, so you get a notification, uh, Kronzi, and if you if you want to join my I'm going to fill up all these slots. So and we'll rotate people around. So if people want to come in, test it, leave, you know, we'll kind of leave that open to let a couple people rotate through. Um, but so you'll be able to see from your end, from the viewer side, too. But yes, yeah, so there's like a notification that pops up. OK, so Christy now it says Christy's ready. It says that she has a webcam and a microphone. If she has one of these not set up, it will have it'll be red, basically. So if she did not want to use her webcam, she can opt not to set that up. And I will know from my end, oh, sh this is red. She doesn't she's not going to use her webcam. OK, see now it's red. So that means she's disabled her webcam. She doesn't plan. Maybe she doesn't plan on using it. Maybe it's just not ready, right? Maybe she's not actually ready. Um. So then here we have uh, these three dots on the side. We can whisper and be like, hey, super excited to have you just 10 more minutes. Or we can just remove her from the, the, the queue entirely. Now, I don't know if she can rejoin if I remove her. So um, Christy, I'm going to I'm going to kick you out and see if uh, see if it, if you're allowed to jump back in. I would assume I would have to reinvite you because then that could be exploited of like you kicked someone out that sucked and now they're they keep joining right so i'm gonna guess she can't jim i swear to god if you guys ruin my youtube video here i will ban you no sounds it just kicks me back to the home page okay i cannot rejoin okay worst host ever <laughs> rozzy you're asking for it All right, so we're going to get Chrissy back to, to set up. That's really good. Obviously, like we don't want people to be able to rejoin. Wait. Wait, wait, OK, wait, we're waiting. Invite the guests to kick them. Look, we got to figure that out for science, guys. OK, for science. I can rejoin if I click the notification. All right, let me remove you. And you try to rejoin. But we'll let you try to rejoin. If I look in the notification section of Twitch, go for it. See if you can rejoin. Have at it. I'd love to see you rejoin. Come come back. The link should not work, I don't think. It in theory, that's that would be the intention, but could you uh could be you can rejoin but not be slotted in if you get kicked. Nope, I was able to for a sec. That's because I had invited you already. Okay. Christy cannot rejoin. Let's send a new invite. <laughs> Rini. Alright, so Christy's going to get ready again and then we're going to slot her in. What's up, more and more? How you doing? We're going to see what it's look like to have one guest on here. So now 
we have a slot guest button. If we click this button, we can send Christy to slot one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's say we invited five people and we wanted um, someone to definitely be in that first initial slot. You can do that. You can customize that. So if we were in like a three guest layout, right, four total people, then you can slot one, two, three. Okay, so let's slot Christy into guest one. um and then hopefully christy can hear me and hopefully we can hear her without our ears breaking i can hear you ah look at that you guys can hear christy all right if you can you know make sure to wave say hi hello hello welcome welcome on in hi friends look at that there we go okay so what's up nilo how you doing Christy's here. So this is the functionality that we have, right? So she's in slot one. Like I said, you can be in whatever layout you want. Okay. So if there's, if you're waiting for more people, you can set that up. If you just want to do the one-on-one, -on -one, here you go. Um, so Christy is here now. She is not on stream. I mean, she is technically right now cause I'm showing you guys, but she's not actually on stream. So I did set up an Ooh. overlay that I'm going to show you guys here. That is going to feature five total uh five total guests okay so chrissy's gonna be in this blank slot right here i added some obs uh browser sources just so you could i could do the placement but this is that chrissy's gonna go in that blank slot okay so right now she's not actually on stream she is behind she's in the 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 behind the scenes the back I forget what they call it. Is what they call the it. backstage. Okay, yes, the backstage. You can only hear her right now because, um, because I'm doing this on two PCs and not a one PC setup. So oh, I can actually see that I'm backstage. Like I can, it has an alert on the page. The green room. Yeah. So yeah, so she she's actually not being uh being streamed out there. Is there a cheese plate? Uh, maybe maybe some snacks. It is cool because it does show me how many people are in your chat. Oh yeah, there is like a view count, so that is good to know as somebody that's like coming on, that like maybe wouldn't speak all the time. Um, nice. So yeah, on my end, I if I hover over Christy, I can see. This is how I push Chrissy to the stream is right here. Top right says show on stream. So if I click this toggle, then I will be sending her the browser source that we set up, right? Again, these links that we already set up in our, our browser sources on OBS. Um, and she'll be pushed basically, you know, push live. Now I have control over whether Chrissy's cam can be used whether her microphone can be used, even if I just want to turn it off for now. So I can actually disable her camera just like this. I can do that from my end. She can't do that to me or anyone else. As the host, I have that power. Now. Oh, that's cool. It does alert me too. The, now, are you able to turn it back on? Um, no, it says video disabled by host and I can't click on it. Nice. Okay, so she can't turn it back on until I let her. So let's say I needed to turn off her camera. I don't know. She had to get up and her cat. Well, why would I turn off her camera if her cat was there? Um, uh, she, uh, her, whatever. I can't even examine. <laughs> we want to turn off Chrissy's camera, okay? Um, so we can do that. And then what we would do is, okay, we want it back on. Maybe I'm unboxing something and my address is on it. Yeah, all right. We turn it back on. And it doesn't turn on automatically. It actually sends a request for Christy to approve it now. So I want it back on, but I can't just troll her and like turn off and on her camera at will. She will still have to ultimately approve the consent of having her camera back on. So Christy, if you want to turn it back on. Oh, cool. So it alerts me. It says the host enabled your camera and there's a button that says start camera. Boom. And now she's back just like that. So yeah, same thing for the microphone. I can I can force the mute if she's if she's yapping away and not letting anyone else talk. 
I can wow. I can do that. I'm hurt, offended, even. <laughs> We're getting a little bit of uh, of lag here. Oh, the guest disconnected. Interesting. Oh, I'm still here. Okay. Okay, so you're back. It did automatically reconnect you. Um, it didn't show me disconnecting or anything on my side. Hmm, interesting. And I didn't see any lag. Um, it's hosted, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it automatically reconnected. And it also, it said that if you didn't reconnect in 30 seconds, it would push you to the, the queue. So you have like a chance to reconnect, but if not, the show must go on. <laughs> and uh, and so you get put in the queue and I can add you back whenever, you know, you, you get yourself together and, and you're ready to go. And we can communicate through Whisper. I think there should be a, uh, my recommendation is like, I think that they should add a, a chat feature. So maybe up here there's a tab, like we don't need all the space to invite guests. So maybe a tab for chat so we can communicate with who's in the room. I don't know if that's planned or not. I don't remember seeing that in the, um, in the, the video that they did, but... They are, once I get a roadmap, they're going to let me know what the roadmap is. And uh, I'll let you guys know if that's a planned feature. Because that, that would be really handy. I mean, that's kind of an essential to have like a chat feature with, with a guest. Um, okay, Especially so. because before I joined, I was sitting in your chat. And I got the notification. And when I clicked on it, it completely took me out of chat to this page instead of opening in a new window. Oh, interesting. It, so it just, it did open a new tab, huh? No, it, it took my the source that I was in and took me there directly. So I had been waiting in chat because I assumed that there probably wasn't a chat feature yet, but there definitely needs to be. Um, and as soon as I clicked the button, it took me away. So I had to open up a new tab in order to be able to see chat. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what's up, Larson? Hello, breaking my staff silence. We're actively monitoring what people want. Chat has come up quite a few times. We opted not to have it in this alpha build because we didn't want chat to intimidate the guests. <laughs> That's fair, Larson. That's fair. Um, but yeah, that'd be super handy, um, like a, a chat functionality. So put that in as an official request by Loco. All right, it definitely so needs to happen. I mean, I think even if a if a guest is intimidated by chat, they could like toggle it off and on, right? That's like how it is in a lot of like Zoom meeting, Google meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they have like the chat sidebar. So then let's go back to the scene that I made and let's see what this looks like from a production standpoint. So I'm going to push Chrissy live. So you guys are actually going to see what the quality of the video is when she's actually on stream. So this is just, uh, this is, this is not actually what it's going to look like on stream. So, um, in terms of audio, the audio should stay the same. Um, I, I was having an issue with when, with when I pushed someone live, their mic went completely blown out. So I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm just going to say that now as a potential warning of uh, it might, the audio quality might get a little weird, but we're going to see. We're, we're doing it live. Like I said, we're, we're going to test this. If we break this, then we have succeeded, right? We're helping to, we're helping Twitch make this better. And that is the best way I know how is letting me touch something because I, I find all the bugs. I'm very good at that. So, <laughs> all right. So this is what it looks like. Um, we're, so Chrissy, I'm going to push Chrissy live. I'm going to hit that little tab in the top right. So I'm hitting show on stream. And uh, and so real quick, I'll show you guys this actually before we, we do that. Um, ready to push your guests to your stream. Guest video will appear in guest start and your browser source. Guest audio will be pushed through your streaming software. Guests who leave or are removed will no longer appear in your streaming software. Uh, please make sure you have copied and added guest slot links as browser sources in your streaming software. You can choose not to share this again, which is one of my favorite buttons ever created. But I'm going to keep this up because, um, you know, I'm still learning the feature. So, so I, um, again, I, I'm not sure if this means I won't be able to hear her unless it's through the browser source. So we're going to see if, if the audio goes through, I think I pre-muted all the audio just to be safe. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, I'm doing this on a two PC setup. So I'm sure that this is designed with a one PC setup in mind. So it might end up like working a little bit differently. Um, but I want to be able to show you guys how it looks. And this is the best way to do it. So, all right, let's, let's see what happens. Okay. Yes. Push guest. 
Okay. So Chrissy is pushed, which we can see she now has like a green little tab here. And again, this is still the production side. So this is what you as a streamer will see in the back end. Okay. So we see that she is live just by that, that little green icon there. Um, and we can remove from stream the same way. So we just hit this and she's, she's off. No questions asked instantly off. So if something happens, you don't want them on stream. Maybe someone tried to troll you. All you got to do is click that button. That's it. Um, from there, she's now backstage. No one can see or hear her. And uh, from there, we can hit these three dots and we can uh, move her to the queue or there's just an X button. We can just kick her right out, okay? So we're pushing her live. And so from the production standpoint, what you guys would see, boom, there we go. So I'm hovering over her, the production side right now. I'm hovering over... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I see all the, the control functionality, but you guys don't see that. That is, you guys don't see that she has that push thing in the corner. You know, all you see is her name tag. That's going to stick. Um, and, and her face, obviously. So, um, again, if I want to turn her camera cool. off, that's what you guys will see on your end. Okay. Boom. Just like that. All right. Let's, let's put her back on. There we go. Um, okay, so let's see if we can hear her. Christy? Yes. Okay, so we can't hear her, so the audio did not change, which is great. Um, that is, that's, that's a good thing. I love how it shows usernames. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Definitely. Audio is the same, yep. All right, Christy, what, what are you seeing on your end? Are you seeing anything different? Um, I actually sent you some screenshots of what I'm seeing. Um, in your Discord, boom, oh. on in your DMs, so you can see um, what it looked like when I was backstage, what the notifications are that you are backstage, what it looks like when the host disables your camera, and uh, what it looks like once you're officially live. The kind of notification banners that they put on there. All right, let's look at that real quick. Okay, so this is as a uh, as a viewer, this is what you as would a see. guest. As a guest, yes. As a guest, you're currently backstage. The stream has not gone live yet. There you go. You have that little pop-up. And then the host disabled your camera. So if you get muted, you get your camera off. You get that. And then when you have been pushed live, you'll get this notification. You're live. Boom. Say hi to viewers. There you go. You're on the air. Nice. Thank you for those screenshots. You're welcome. Okay, so <laughs> so I think that explains all the features. Oh, and you can see also viewer count stuff too. Let me actually go back here. So as a as a guest, you're actually be able to see the viewer count and the uptime. Now, as a host, I don't see those things, um, which is which is good because I mean I personally don't look at my viewer count while I'm live. So um, you know I I think that they would make that an option maybe for the streamer to toggle that if they want. Um, but we don't we don't see that. We don't see the uptime, but good good information for um, for the user there. OK, um, so I think we've gone over the general, um, you know, the ideas, the features, the functionality. So now you know how it works. So now we're going to see what happens when we add a bunch of people on. OK, we're going to max it out. We're going to add everyone to see if my Internet can handle all this. <laughs> um, do you think that the chat should be visible for guests or is it better to just have the stream open in a separate tab um, in terms of like the stream chat um, I mean I think having that integrated would be nice just having that as an option um, it's again yeah, something you better. could choose to tab to I mean especially because a lot of the time when streamers are interacting and they're on guest star together it's usually multiple communities and you want to be able to interact right it's kind of the benefit of live streaming yeah stress test yes and so what we'll do is we're going to do a little stress test and then we're going to answer any questions anything like maybe you're coming in late maybe you missed something maybe you have questions about something that i i skimmed over um I will answer your questions as the best I can. Um, I only have so much access to information. Um, but 
you know, just from what I know or what I've experienced, I'll be able to answer what I can. Um, push it to the limit. Yes. So here's the fun part. Um, if you want to volunteer to be on here, you have to use Google Chrome or Edge. Um, as a streamer, this is also good to know. It's currently only compatible with OBS and it's planned to be OBS and Twitch Studio, I think, and in, in beta. Um, so I'm sure Streamlabs is coming. I just don't know when that is. So as a streamer, if you do get access to this, just keep that in mind. Um, no Firefox, no Chrome or Edge at this time. So if you have, uh, if you're comfortable with a webcam and a microphone on, um, feel free to, to let me know, to holler in the chat. Again, the only way I can invite people right now is to manually add people. Does the guest camera support different aspect ratios, like a vertical one, for example? Uh, no, there is no way to customize um, what the, the video size is. I actually experimented with this uh, before the stream to set it up because I wanted to get everyone to be like kind of more square as, as I am here because I have some preset overlays, which I, I, I'm not able to use for this because um, even if you made the aspect ratio like 800 by 600, it would still show it in like the 16, nine resolution. Um, mm. And just, it would show, yeah. So it, it would not change anything. Um, so, you know, if like for me, for example, um, you know, if I have, this is my overlay. I mean, now it's, it's messed up because I was testing things, but you can see I have like five square boxes. So if I wanted this to work, I would have to pre-crop everyone and hope that everyone sits centered in the camera, which is not <laughs> a flaw with, um, with, with guest star particularly. It's something I have to do with Video Ninja anyways, um, mm -hmm. that, that I know of, but yeah. All right, so who wants to join us? I know Dylan wants to join. Let's, let's get Dylan in here. Someone asked me if I have a different chat identity to let people know that I am a guest on the um, stream and there is nothing in my settings. I can't change my chat identity or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, the whole point is that it, you know, your your Twitch account, you're kind of held accountable to that. But I'll hop in. All right, we got we got Cronsy joining us, sending an invite. So yes, there's six max that can be pushed live. I think. Is it plus two backstage or is it just six total? I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure this out in a second. Just make an overlay for 16, nine boxes. I mean, yes, uh, you can make overlays to adjust for that. This this would be having six people on. It's, it's, it's a tight squeeze, but it is doable. All right, so I got, uh, let me show you here. So we got, uh, so we got Dylan, we got Cronsy ready here. Um, is there a way to modify the names on the screen for each guest? I think it's neat to tell you each guest's Twitch name automatically, but it's kind of small currently compared to the rest of the screen. Yeah, no way to change that. No way to resize that. I guess it would be cool if you could like drag this and move it and resize it, right? Like just having more options and flexibility as a host is really nice. And so there are a couple of caveats to guest star right now. Like you cannot control the audio levels of your guests. Um, you could route it through with your OBS technically and just make sure that it's you're not getting the double audio, which is kind of an issue right now. But yeah, that would be really nice to just be able to do that in the app, right? Just be able to adjust everyone's audio. As you can see, I cannot slot um, new slots because I only have the one guest overlay on. So I could replace Christy, um, but we're gonna we're here to break things. So we're going to we're gonna add them in. I'm actually gonna go back to this scene real quick, and I'm gonna add the. These are not the browser links. These were just kind of the stand-in links so that you guys could see the, the placement and for, for myself, for my own sanity. So let me get everyone slotted in here. So the, these are actually gonna go away and be replaced with the guest star links. Now let's slot some people in. So I'm gonna slot Dylan into slot two. Show you guys over here. So Dylan's getting slotted Dylan. in. I don't know if Dylan will be able to talk to us because we are actually live right now. So Dylan's backstage. And I don't know if he'll be able to hear us. Dylan, can you hear us? Okay, so he can hear us. 
so he is muted. Now, is that on your end? Let me actually get Kronzi in here, too. Kronzi, we're going to put you... What, what's not taken? Slot three? Wait, why is Dylan black and white on my screen? Hmm. I see him in full color right now. Um, on my side of guest star, Dylan and Kronzi. I guess it's to highlight who the host is. Or, or who's live. Yeah. It's probably because they're not live. They're backstage. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Wait, let me take a screenshot of this for you. Yeah. All right, we got two more open slots. Muha? Did I miss Muha? Is Muha joining? I'm going to send an invite to Muha. There we go. Get Hero in here. We're, we'll rotate too. So if more people want to jump in, uh, we are going to, we'll rotate people around. So don't worry. Well, but this busy. So cool. Hope it's a good busy. All right. So they're getting ready. Muha Hero are getting ready. And I can invite more people. So you, you I, I can invite people and you guys can like work on getting set up while we kind of test things. And then when we're ready to switch, I can do that. So I'm going to be able to have like a full queue. I don't think, I don't know what the limits are of having like a queue of people, but I'm sure I can invite definitely more than just the available slots here. Okay. So, um, let's, uh, so, so right now we cannot hear Dylan and Kronzi. They're actually backstage. They can hear us. They can see us. We can see them. Um, and we have no way to really communicate with them besides, you know, they can't communicate back, back with us unless they type in chat. So, uh, again, that would, that would be a really helpful thing of just having like a, a group chat here. But for now, we've got uh, Hero ready. Let's get Hero into slot four. Um, and we're going to we're going to go live with this. I'm going to I'm going to push everyone live here. Amazing hat hero. Amazing. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's go back to what you guys would see. Hey, here's our show. Here we are. And uh, Hero's a former mod, so I, I don't put it past him to troll. So I'm just saying, you know, we might be able to test booting someone quickly. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, we're going to get Moo hot slotted. And I'm going to push Dylan live. Dylan, you are... Push. You've been pushed. I feel pushed. I, pushed I feel you. pushed. You've been pushed live. Hello. What's going on? How's it going? All right. So I'm doing hi. great. There we go. Now it's working just like that. All right, I'm going to get Kronzi live. Kronzi, you're now on the air. I'm live. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Amazing. You're all becoming colored, like as it goes from black and white to it's technical. That Wizard of Oz moment, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. That's what I was thinking in my brain. You're all Dorothy now. <laughs> yes. All right, Hero, you're going to be joining us. Oh, you're muted. There may be somebody on your end, though. Um, yeah, I can't hear you. Is your thing set up properly? Your audio source. And then I'm going to push Muha. Muha, you're on the air. You're also muted. He's, but that he's looks muted like it's on your though. end. Because mm. we actually see the mute button. Yes. Yes. Oh, there we are. Okay. Turns out I actually need to unmute to actually talk to people. Hello? Oh, interesting. Look, we did it. We have five people on. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. It looks pretty well, good. Nothing's broken yet. Yeah. Nothing's broken. Is, is, is there any really steam nice. coming from your computer, Loco, or no? Um, no. OBS is at 3.6%. Um, if you guys wanna wanna talk and, and move around, we can see if the quality kinda kinda changes. I don't know how it looks for you guys, but it looks still super <laughs> solid on my end. Yeah, I'm. Everything looks very nice. <laughs> oh, with the zoom. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I, I will say. say the most, What's most Luigi doing mine. back there? I will say. So I'm all the way in Australia, and I'm actually really surprised at the quality. Yeah. Because usually, any time I'm using like Video Ninja or anything. If I'm with anyone across the across the country, across the world, you don't get this quality. Mm. So this is actually really impressive. Yeah, yeah, it looks great yeah, on you stream. You look really clean. Yeah, even um, so if I go back here, so you guys can see the the production side, like you know, even on here, everyone's camera is still holding up pretty good. Like, you know, only Christie's, which is weird because we we're in the same house, like a room away. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, everyone's looking pretty good. What what's it been like for you guys to do the onboarding? Did you guys have any issues? Because I had uh, when I was testing it behind the scenes, I had someone with an issue of um, not being able to like select their proper video source. It was like kind of tabbing through all of them. Do you guys have any issues getting onboarded, or was there any confusion? I did have that issue with the video source at first, but like it, I couldn't figure out how to do it. But once I joined, then there was an easier drop down to toggle between them all. Mm. Like at first it was locked and it wouldn't let me choose, which was kind of weird. But once I joined, then I could choose. Mm. Yeah. yeah. On the video source thing, uh, I did see a bunch of video sources. So uh, maybe streamers can navigate that menu a bit better, but... Uh, if you're unfamiliar and you only have one video source, it should default to the system, mm. which is uh, pretty intuitive. And again, there's zero setup issues. I mean, besides me not unmuting myself, uh, it's actually really nice. And uh, we haven't crashed it yet. So uh, kudos to the product team at Twitch. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, Hero, did you get your mic working? No. No. What? No. Um. Yeah. So this is this is something that. Um, that we, I, as a host, I cannot do anything about on my end either. Like, if Hero doesn't have the right... Um... Hero, is your mic muted like the actual Yeti button click? Like physically muted. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just admit you have Hero muted for anti-troll purposes. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. I do 100%, not. 100% Ricks, 100%. I wonder if it's always the fourth person that's going to get muted. Like, is this a hero problem or is this a product problem? Well, slot, you're saying slot four is cursed? Is that what you're saying? Yes, the cursed <laughs> slot. Cursed. Well, let's see. So if I go back to the production side of things, um, let's say, okay, hero, well, you're, you know, you're just sucking right now. So I'm going to move you to the oh. queue. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> this is, this is, look, this no, is for no, trolling no. revenge, okay? This is straight revenge for you right now. I'm going to send Hero to the queue to figure out your stuff, okay? So that slot opens up, um, and so Hero is back to getting ready, getting set up. Uh, so he's not left. He doesn't need to be reinvited. He's in the queue. He's still part of the session. Um, and so mm. let's say, you know, if we're back over here... Um, you know, now there's a, like this empty gap and let's say, you know, I wanted to kind of move someone. Let's say, okay, we could move Muha, but there's no way to easily move someone, unfortunately. So I can move them to the queue and then reassign them to a different slot, but I can't just like, you know, oh, okay. select. Um, all I can do is copy the link to the browser source, whisper you, and then move you to the queue. So I can move you back to the queue mm -hmm. and then move you back to slot four, but I can't from your slot move you to a different slot you'd have to kind of go through everything again so it's not very seamless um that's definitely something i would like to see improved i'd like to yeah, see the guests be one. able to see who's in the queue i don't know if that'd be that mm. bad of a thing interesting yeah so you guys can't see any of that on the side no there's nope. no side panel for us mm. nope Hmm. Uh, I can see your number of concurrence and your stream length, and that's that's all the data I have as a uh, yeah. guest. Interesting. Oh, oh, so like stream title and uh, category, but yeah. You yeah. can you can see that, or you can't. Yeah, I'll we send you the that. screenshot. Gotcha. Okay, so let me go back here and let's get hero. I'm gonna reslot hero. In, actually, what happens if I just slot him into let's say slot five? Okay. Are you sure you want to replace Muha with What's Up Hero? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. replace the guest. Sorry, Muha. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so Muha goes back to the queue. Uh, it says you've mu we've muted your new guest. Prevent audio echo with live guests in your streaming software. We've muted muted your backstage guest in Guest Star. Please show your guests on the stream to hear their audio among the other guests. Okay, so that's basically the backstage experience of. Um, you know, they're not going to talk because that would be really confusing from the production side. If you're like running a live show, you have four people on air and someone joins, but like you're not ready to have them yet. Right. So this is all done behind the scenes to like give them time to get set up and stuff. Um, so Hero 
it did not let Hero reconnect, so we're gonna try to... Let's see if we can get Hero ready again, put him in slot 5, and so I'm curious because I pushed that slot to live, so I wonder if it will, by default, go back to the backstage, which I'm sure that's that's what is going to happen here. I, I was gonna ask, Loka, what does this look like live right now? All this that we're doing right now? Yeah, so all this configuration, the audience would never know. Um, it's pretty much us four running a show. So this is what it looks like. Um, so they have no idea what I'm doing behind the scenes, which is okay. pretty typical of, uh, you know, streaming, honestly. <laughs> There's a lot that goes on <laughs> behind the scenes that y'all don't see to make the gears turn, make things work. Um, can you show the invite guest flow one more time? Yes, I'm going to show that. Do you just type in a Twitch username? Yeah, so that's the only way it works right now. Um, I'm going to get Muha back in into slot four. And so for the, hmm, I'm Did having trouble in? getting them back in. I wonder if this is a, a new bug we've discovered. I cannot get, it seems I cannot slot them back in. Um, it just says that they've disconnected. I doubt that we're having two people have issues reconnecting. Um, so I don't know if the, the slot is, if it's something with kicking people out. We no. don't have to reinvite because they're still in our queue here. So Hero and Muha, what are you guys seeing from your end? Um, what's, what's going on there? I got kicked. Oh yeah. Now we're really breaking things. Now it's really happening. So the invite flow right now for DJ Wheat, for anyone who's asking, um, right now there's no sort of filtration um, like you may have seen from the screenshots and the videos. Like we can invite guests uh, and then you just type someone's name in. So if we wanted to invite, um, let's see, Cam Dell, we could. We just had to type it click it, invite them. They're going to get it on their end as like a Twitch pop-up. So you have to be on Twitch. Now, I, I was wondering if this would work on mobile. I'm not sure if it works on mobile right now. I know it's intended to work on mobile because a lot of their, their screenshots were, you know, pictures of being on your phone, but I don't know if it's ready yet. All right, so everyone is disconnecting. Let's see if we can get Christy back. Oh, uh, sorry, slot one. Hero slot five, Muha slot four. Okay, so Hero is able to rejoin. Hero, um, you are muted on your end. We can't hear you anyway, though, because you're not live. So let me push you live. Does it work? Does your audio work? I don't hear him. Mm, wah, wah, wah. All right, Christy and Muha are not able to rejoin right now. So we're having some connections, connection issues. Look who's borking everything. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that um, all that you guys would be seeing as a viewer, you would not be seeing any of the struggle. You would just be hearing about our struggle and people popping up and stuff. It's telling me I have a poor internet connection. Well, why is your internet connection so bad, Christy? Two times bad connection. Let's see. It was working for a bit. Got new software to test. Call local. All bugs will be found and some will be created. <laughs> will they be able to rejoin if you remove them from the queue and re-invite? Um, yes. Yeah, so we kicked Christy out in the beginning uh, and had her rejoin. So yes. Um, so what do you guys think about this so far? Um, like, you know, all, all of you guys stream, what do you make of this? Are you, is this something that you plan on using in your streams? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've been wanting to do, sorry, Kronzi, uh, I was, yeah, I've been wanting to do like panels and conversations and things like this before. And OBS Ninja can kind of be, and Vod Ninja can be a bit uh, cumbersome in navigating in OBS. This, uh, this is a game changer for me personally. Like it's literally like a content changer. I will try yeah, it. Makes, Ed. <laughs> okay. It makes it so much easier just to get like really anyone you want in quickly, quickly as you can. So yeah. 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 I think one of the, the big things that's missing is 
so yeah hero just left well so hero is now disconnected um but when he's like officially gone from the session it'll just remove his his screen so right now it's twitch is trying to reconnect him uh they think he's trying to come back so um just did a complete restart of chrome okay so let me see christy let me try to get you back in so yeah, from the production, like from the viewer standpoint, it's pretty, pretty seamless looking. Um, you know, people just pop in and out. This is, this is why this, like a product like this needs to exist because a lot of streamers just use Zoom or Discord and they take the time to window crop every single person. But the problem is when new people join or people leave, then it resizes everything and everything gets shuffled around. It's like a huge headache. And then when they rejoin, they're now in a completely different location, so it might fix the formatting, but now they're at like the bottom of the the, the order instead of the top. Um, so, you know, Video Ninja is, you know, I think the um, the first like prominent tool that's really come out that utilizes browser sources. So this is why this tool is so great. If you're wondering as a streamer, like, why would I use this? It's because you can set up every person's link as a browser source and there's no need to ever touch it again. So if people leave, you know, it's just an empty, empty spot, right? It's not like everyone moves around. It's like pure chaos. I think creators are more apt to use it if they stylize it around their own overlays, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think like this is a great tool that will help kind of make it easy for people to just start doing it. I mean, it's not, there's still some things that need to be worked out like, OK, so for the audio, what how does that actually work um, and how is that going to work right now? It's, you know, you have to mute everyone's browser source. Otherwise, you'll get double audio. Like, how do we solve that? How do we make that easier or simplified? Um, so it's still a, that initial like kind of like, OK, how do I set this up and like, how is this going to look and how are we going to sort out the audio? Um, but once you have it set up, then, you know, the idea hopefully is you can just have people come in. It's kind of like doing your own radio show and you can have people call in, right? But like actually call in. And the great thing about it being through Twitch is if someone trolls, right, they can actually get banned through Twitch. So I know that's a big question is like, okay, well, what if someone trolls? like you know you like are you gonna get banned twitch has stated that if as long as you're you make an effort to remove them and um say that you you don't condone that behavior right like some sort of punishment you ban them you remove them no that's not okay you get them off your show twitch is going to provide some level of understanding and leniency now, if you don't do anything, you you go with it, you laugh, you let it happen, and you don't take action, then you're totally going to be held responsible for someone breaking the rules, right? Got to denounce and bounce. Exactly. <laughs> um, so but that's like a really cool thing, because with Zoom, like, you know, if someone trolls and joins your Zoom or Discord call, you're screwed. Like even if they if it if their username was their Twitch name, like Twitch can't really do much about that because it's not it's not through their platform right they can't really track that stuff so that's honestly a big plus of using this tool uh question can you control <clears throat> sorry i assume you can control the audio through uh the browser source in obs right uh so, of, of us so yes you can um and so that's that's the thing that kind of stumped me this morning um so you know i was I was basically told like you're gonna want to mute the browser sources because you're gonna get double audio because if i'm let's say i'm doing this on a one pc setup like it doesn't right now force you to go through the browser source for your audio and i know this is going to sound a little complicated yeah. but right now we are still talking through the back end right like through the production side of things so to speak, I can see audio bars when you talk through the OBS browser source. But if I had that on, we would get double audio. So then, you know, the, the, then you say, well, why don't you mute your 
your audio on your side. And that's, I guess, what you could do, but that's why it's so complicated right now. Yeah, because I was going to say, it's actually, a, it, it'd be a pretty good tool of, like, yeah, controlling the audio through browser source. And then uh, if you are, you know, muting the, um, well, not muting, but not sending the audio from the, from Twitch to uh, your chat, um, then you can actually vet, you can very easily vet your uh, guests because you'll be able to talk through them very easily through the back, uh, what was it? The back, the back, back stage. room. Backstage. Backstage. Um, before they even come on. So it just, it just, just sort of like as an mm. add-on to what you were saying before, it's like it, it, yeah. it makes it easier to to ignore trolls who, who might come in as guests because you can talk to them and no one will be able to see it until they're actually put onto the stream. Yeah, so <clears throat> what I could do is basically mute the this tab. Um, I don't, I actually can't right click well, and mute the tab. You could control you could control the audio of the um like of your actual window yeah. through obs and then just switch it off and that should theoretically work so you'd still hear it no one else would yeah you'd have to mute i guess chrome as a whole and then output the audio could you route it through using your audio interface there's so there is no way to customize the audio output which is a big thing. You can control what goes in, but not how it comes out. So right now you really can't customize that the way that you'd want to. Um, what I could do in theory is right now I could mute Google Chrome as, you know, if I right click on my audio, right on, on Windows and you have all your audio settings, I could mute Google Chrome and then on OBS say output to the stream and listen to it. Um, and then that would allow me to control everyone's audio. So that's that's why it's like a lot of steps right now. Like I, I, I guess cover robots, I would have to send all of Google Chrome through your like with a Go XR, which is what I have, right? You'd have to send it all of Google Chrome through chat and then you chat. So if you wanted to show something on screen for, uh, you know, from a production standpoint, you want to show a video for everyone or show something on your like with sound, I mean, now you're limited to not being able to do that, right? What happens if you change the pixel size of the OBS source? Um, what do you mean? Like the resolution settings? Is Muha out? No, Muha's in. You're the only one that's that's not able to connect right now. Muha's back. I'm going to push Muha live. Uh, I'm pushing Hero live. Yeah, Hero back as well. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, what's up, Hero? Hello, I made it. And he, and Christy's back, so it looks like everything's working. I'm pushing Christy live. Yay, hero, we hero. did it, chat. You don't hear hero? Do you, I don't, do you? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I hear hero, yep. All right, so everyone's back on and connected. Yeah, so you can change the resolution. Um, It was recommended to do this resolution when you have if you're making everyone the size, because if you make it, let's say 1080p and then you shrink it, then the, the, uh, name plates will shrink accordingly. So then they'll, they're going to be like really tiny. So if you don't need to downscale it, then you should just try to do it at the, at the size that it would show up on screen, ideally. Mm. So the name plates are like a readable size, you know? Wonders you could use something like virtual audio cable to route Chrome audio to control the levels. Again, like yeah, you could route all of your Chrome audio, but then um, you won't be able to listen to anything else that's on Chrome. So, so in theory, yes. So I could do that right now. So I can. I'm gonna go through the uh, the browser audio so you guys can hear what that sounds like. Let's 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 see. Okay. So we can't hear them anymore. Christy? Well, I had my mic muted anyway. Uh, oh, I need to change that on my end. Hold on. Uh, advanced audio properties. A star one monitor and output. So I can hear it and you can hear it. Monitor and output. Do, 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 do. All right, you guys are all unmuted. 
Hello. Hey, What's up? Hello. What's there we up? go. So I can testing, testing. Yeah, yeah. Muha, there is a little bit of sound actually coming through. Oh. Yeah. Cool. It's like yeah. room sound. You probably have like a fan or something. Something high pitched. There is a fan. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> so now on my end, now that I'm controlling the audio through OBS, um, I can customize everyone's volume. I can apply filters, right? Like, so it, it is it's totally possible. I won't be able to um you know do anything with with like chrome so sound anymore but now i can control everyone's audio i can mute people through their filters noise gate but again it would be nice to just be able to do that through your your um you know twitch backstage settings right like as a streamer mm -hmm. um so i want to see if this works on mobile would anyone be willing to try to join on mobile i don't know if it'll work right now I mean, I can get off of the computer and try it on my phone. Rini, Rini's volunteering as tribute. Oh, good. Thank God. All right, Thank Rini. Thank you, Rini. Are, do you have the Twitch app open on your phone right now? Adorkably mobile. A real hero. Yes. Okay. I'm sending you an invite. I will say I do still have the notification for the invite on mobile as well. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if we can switch from one to the other. Ooh. Or if that would break everything. That's what we're trying to do, right? Yeah, try. I mean, might as well try. Trying to hit the, the link on mobile isn't doing anything. I'll say that yeah, much. Yeah, it says guest star does not yet support your browser. Please use Chrome. Gotcha. Okay, so it's not available in mobile right now. Unless you have Chrome on your phone. Oh. Muha? Huh? Muha? I lost audio. Oh. Muha, where is, where is Muha Was your right fan now? too powerful? What Whoa. is happening? That's a, mo that's a phone. I think that's a phone. That is a mobile device. I broke the internet via phone. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? It, wor you... it worked for half a second. Okay. Why can we like weirdly hear just a little bit of your audio? I think because he's trying to connect on mobile. Oh, Mua Mu has gone now. Reinvite? Yeah, let me reinvite you. All right, I invited Muha. Um, I don't know if it's going to be desktop or mobile. Is his audio tad loud? Yeah, I think like it, it is definitely louder when I use OBS. Um, yeah, so I can turn everyone down a little bit. I'm I'm glad that everything's holding up. I really. Oh, oh, I think we have a mobile oh, stream. That's a phone. That's me. Look at that. Upside down. Hello, Muha. You are live. You're on the air. <laughs> Can you hear us? <laughs> We're talking Can to him pick in, up in space. Your cell phone. <gasps> nope. Okay. Put us back down. <laughs> hey. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh. We can't hear you, though. No, nope, we can't hear you. Nope. <laughs> but it looks like it works. Like the video is working. I think we had audio the last time you joined, but now we. We don't have your audio so so mobile is not there yet um anything else we need to break or test phone is working but no mic detected you sent my invite six minutes ago and it's still working for me yeah i so i still have you my queue so i'm assuming as long as i have you my queue you would be able to join at any time so let's say I knew some people were going to be ready in like half an hour. I could just send them the invites ahead of time, maybe before the stream, the whole guest list. So they can join, get ready, get set up on their end. And then when I'm ready, I can bring them on, switch them out, in and out, right? Okay, so then what do you guys want to see most at a guest star? Now that you guys have had like a little bit of experience with it, like what's what's the number one thing you think it's missing? Uh, chat on screen for the people that are on guest star so that we can have some sort of interaction with the chat yes. um you know a pop-out box would be great like they have on zoom or google meet where you can 
tab it and it'll you know kind of slide in slide out type situation would be great um, are you talking about twitch chat or like chatting within no the... twitch chat oh twitch chat so that because right now i can't see what chat is saying yeah we're only seeing the call and because twitch is such like a part of this you know we want to probably have some sort of interaction or be able to read what's going on versus just being here i know not every channel necessarily not every call necessarily needs to read the chat so having like the toggle in and out would be great um but in order for me to see like what's going on on stream i had to pull it up on my cell phone because the lap the internet wasn't working enough for me to like be on stream and have another tab open with your stream running yeah i think there's some issue with us being in the same house because Muha was saying, let me actually put Muha live about something about being under the same uh, like IP it was causing issues, right, Muha? Hmm. Yeah. So uh, just to give a bit of a lowdown, what was happening? Oh, your audio is super low. Yeah, right it's very quiet. Is that coming through your phone? No. Okay, <laughs> no, you're muted. <laughs> Checking the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what a troll. It might be just a different source or something got unplugged or something. Greeny. Yeah, you're like super, you're, you're quiet and like far away. <laughs> what is happening? Um, built into it, chat for it would be awesome. Yeah, well, so I mean, I would like that, but I also would really like just a chat, the, the ability to chat with the guests. Like as the host, being able to coordinate, especially if people are having issues, like I don't want to stop the show and be like, hey, Muha, your mic is low. I want to be able to just type that and communicate that while the show goes on, right? I like, think the green room chat, right? Mm -hmm. Like when mm -hmm. you were in that queue system in the back end just now, like and everybody's readying, but you can have like a little chat box where they can, you can type like, hey, everything good. And then they give you okay. And then now you bring them live, like something For like the that. the backstage. Just, yeah. And that would be really really vital yeah i mean as as a host I, I would want access to everyone just in case someone is live but like you know like let's say someone needs to go in five minutes right and they're live and during the show like i mean these are real conversations that happen as you know i've done a million talk shows like you know these things happen and you don't want to just say it on the stream you want to keep going and have it kind of be like that's the subtle behind the scenes stuff so that that ability is, would be really nice like yeah you can whisper everyone but that's just not like so whispers suck. Whispers suck. Like they're they're not great. Like uh, no one wants to do that, you know. Oh, I wonder what it's like to whisper someone on the scene. Okay, so it does pop up. Um, you're, I'm not gonna be able to hear you guys for a sec, but for for chat, it does pop up uh, within the guest star. So if you're a streamer and trying to whisper someone, you can you can do that within this scene. It's just not gonna pop up a new window. That was. That was something I was uh, curious about, so. Okay. Yeah. And on this screen that you're on right now, Loco, like just having that ability to control everyone's audio, some sort of audio level slider for everyone yeah. would be monumental rather than having to go through the shenanigans of having to do it on OBS. Like yeah. the goal obviously of this system is integration, right? Everything clean and easy to do right there on twitch so being able to control audio source or being able to control audio levels to some degree a slider for each mm -hmm. little box here would be vital again yeah yeah i would second that for sure and like also being able to choose your output like where does people's like audio go to right like what what source as a streamer we have mixers we have complicated audio setups like you know, it's not enough to just say, oh, it's just your Chrome volume and that's it. Like, we need to be able to have that control of routing the audio as a whole. Because that would, that would be really helpful. Now, Twitch staff is here taking notes actively. So people who work on Guest are here right now to listen to you guys. So if you guys have feedback in chat from what you've seen so far and, and you guys are actually on here testing it, if you guys have any more feedback, like this is your chance to, you know, to get it written down. They're taking notes. Two girls, one game has a great question. Can this be set up offline before start streaming the guest view? Yes, that's a great question. And the answer is yes. You do not have to be live to start a guest star session. Uh, I did a couple offline sessions leading up to this live show. So 
you can play with it offline you can even do sessions completely offline like you don't have to stream so if you don't want to pay for zoom you can theoretically just do calls through here and invite people actually i don't know if that's like something they're gonna change or anything but uh there you go you could can cancel your zoom subscription <laughs> <laughs> um but yes yeah you can do that out of curiosity what happens when you change the amount of slots while you're live with with everyone so my I, I think what's gonna happen it's gonna kick all y'all out to the queue um but you know what we're here to test things so let's let's do it and see what happens um uh, i'm gonna go here and i will unmute so i can hear you guys all right so i'm gonna go from five guests uh let's just go down to four so i don't completely have to reinvite everyone i'm gonna go down to four all right so it's gonna warn me actually uh it's it's gonna let me know that muha is gonna move to the the queue um so i can do mm. it but it's gonna it's gonna give you a little confirmation dialogue um so and say oh no i don't want to do that boom there we go all right so we're not gonna actually do it muha you're safe this time <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so that's that's i mean you're not really gonna need to do that i think as a streamer you're gonna want to just keep it at five slots because what's being shown on stream is still under your control so even if you have your five slots and five people in them but let's say you you want to condense it down to like one or two people um you can just do that by again removing people from the stream and all you have to do is in the top right hit that little checkbox. that's it so there's no way to shuffle people around right it'll boot everyone back to backstage yeah in order to bring them back on yeah that would be nice being able to move people's slots and stuff like without having to move them to the queue. Like, so let's say in our setup, you know, um, maybe Dylan had to leave um, and maybe Hero had to leave, right? Now we're down to like three people, but now I wanna go to my overlay that only has three slots. I wanna move people into one, two, and three, right? Okay, well mm -hmm. now I have to move Muha to the queue and Kronzi to the queue and then re-add them to the, the, the different slots. Um, so that's that's a little cumbersome for sure. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice if there was like a drop down on each one that you could be like move to this one. And then it would say like, do you want to swap these two people or whatever the case may be? Um, like if somebody had to go and you wanted to move them to the bottom so that you could then like start shrinking it down slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the name tags. If the name tags can be movable, mm. scalable, bigger, maybe even change colors and stuff more customization but you know at the very basic being able to move this around and make it bigger would be great mm. or even like a singular guest star browser source that could just be the whole scene mm. right where like you have your so it starts with like your one webcam full screen that if a second guest star comes in now there's two and there's three and there's four like just a one singular browser so it'll it'll look almost like a zoom meeting right but with our individual webcams but you won't have to necessarily create your own you can mm. create your own if you want to but like that would be very simple if you just had a singular browser source for the just for the for guest star mm. Mm. yeah that would be a cool option for sure i mean you know i guess in theory if you wanted to you could capture the production side as a streamer but yeah so having like a browser source that just kind of has all of them and automatically adjusts kind of in the same capacity for those that don't care about the production they just want access to having everyone on uh easily mm -hmm. then you know that makes a lot of sense for sure someone asked what it looks like if somebody turns off their camera that's what it looks like if they turn off their cam yeah, and so if someone is muted on their end, they'll have a little mute icon in the top right. There's no way to report someone. So if you had a guest, and there, this is going to happen. There's going to be streamers that just kind of let anyone come on, YOLO. Um, and there's going to be people that try to get that person banned and, and try to ruin the show. Like, that, that's inevitable. Happens to everyone. Um, so obviously I guess your reflex is just to kick them out, but I feel like there should be some sort of like history of who was on the show so that you could hit those three little dots next to their name and hit ban, timeout, and report, right? Like those moderation functions um, from, from like the standpoint, I think. Maybe I mean, right after you kick someone, 
there's like a dialogue box that comes up that's like, do you want to report this person because you kicked them? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Should bands work with guest star feature? Um, yeah, I mean, like, so the invite system's gonna be um, definitely a lot better by the time it gets in beta. So someone was asking, this is alpha right now. So this is not even the beta. They, the last I heard beta is scheduled for August, which is this month, so uh, sometime this month, but I don't know if it's gonna be there in this time realistically, just because there's a lot of features still missing. Um, it, it's, it's still like, functionality is there but it's not a lot of of those additional features that i think really are going to make guest star shine so um i don't know if anyone if any twitch staff want to confirm if beta is still slated for this month but i know the goal is to get it out to all streamers by the end of the year i think unless i'm confusing that with a different feature announcement hey loco if you step out of this room do we all get booted okay or do we all get to continue the call so if I, so I can end the session by hitting the end call button, but let's say instead of, let me go back here. So this is the button to end the whole session and, and kick everyone out, right? But what if I just like exit out of this? Okay, so there's no warning dialogue. Um, I'm not in there. And if they are still there, let me know by typing in chat. <laughs> Beta date still de to be determined, okay. Is it this month? Is it this month though? Um, all right. So let's say, I, I guess maybe that ended the session. I still have waiting for host to let you in. All right. I'm still hear us. Oh, was oh. chat able to still hear us? No, no, no. Okay. So when oh, you okay. left your oh, box, I didn't do that from a production standpoint. Hold on. Let me, let me switch actually. Oh, bye. Okay, let me go to what it looks like. I owe you a roadmap. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Wait, I can't oh. tell. Okay. Yeah, I can still hear you. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. You guys can hear me? There we are. Cool. You guys can hear me? So we are still there. They can't hear me. Yeah. Because we're still on stream. If they could hear me, they would hear me say, la, 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 la. I don't know if they can hear us, but they can definitely see us. They can, oh, we can hear you. We can hear They can't even see me right now. I don't hear, I don't hear Loki. So she do doesn't have to be on the call. <laughs> she hears us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 let me twirl my flower. Yeah, you guys can still <laughs> hear me because I'm not, the, my camera and OB, my audio are not through the guest star. So we can't hear you, Loco, at all, just in case you're wondering. Chat can hear Loco. Yes. Yeah, because it's all still coming through the browser source. It's just she's not in the uh, call, right? So I'm bad. Interesting. Yeah. Oh my oh gosh, my Hero. Hero is testing Hello. out the VTubing, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if it would work. Now. I will say I'd like it if when we muted our camera, oh, sorry, like like yeah, blocked our camera, that it gave like our um Twitch avatar or something. Mm. Yeah, oh, I that'd agree be with so that. cool. That'd be a great idea, Twitch. That's a great one. Twitch, great idea. Write it down. Yeah, write it down. Turn off your camera again. I was again. thinking that earlier, like something different to distinguish who it is, or even if it was just the nameplate bigger. You know, yeah, like be... nameplate and and yeah, instead of that icon, like their avatar would be like, I mean that'd be so sick, that'd be fantastic. Easy. They oh, just, already just... have access to that, right? Because like there's gonna be people that do audio only, you know, if you have callers and stuff. So you know, having a way to at least um, be able to signify who they are, right? Like with their avatar, mm -hmm. kind of personalizes that experience rather than just like a blank box, you know. Um, it would be cool to see the session time too, just out of curiosity. Um, I mean, we do see it on our side. We see the uptime. Well, the stream uptime, right? Though, what, what's the timer on? Yeah, that? the stream uptime. Is it two thirty eight? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it is stream uptime, not session uptime. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that would be that would be nice too, to, just to see. Um, but yeah, we've this session has been going for over an hour and. We're seeing some disconnects. We've had some connection issues, especially early on. Um, it's for the most part stable, which is pretty nice. And again, um, I thought there would be more 
like artifacting but we haven't had much of that yeah the encoding is working really well yeah and hero looks so happy the happiest <laughs> <laughs> i will say just like waiting in the waiting like in the queue mm. it would be nice to have like a little window of the screen of the stream so i could mm. like see what was actually happening mm. and see yeah. the chat too like because all i had was just that host like you're waiting for the host to let you in yeah mm -hmm. yeah so which is fine but yeah one thing i noticed let me turn my camera off let me see if it does this. It's not trying to, but when I was reconnecting, uh, testing offline, it would not reconnect to, maybe they fixed this because I literally reported last week. That'd be fast, but um, it wouldn't reconnect automatically and it would try to get me to download a like OBS virtual camera and make me use OBS virtual camera, which is a basic workaround to you know as a streamer you're i don't know how many people have two webcams but you'd either have to have two cameras or whatever scene you're doing your show on with other people like you'd have to not have your camera and route it through your guest star um but then you can't actually set up a browser source for yourself though so that wouldn't work either so yeah, I think maybe being able to have a browser source for yourself if need be. I think that there will be people that kind of have that issue because virtual camera works. But again, if I'm virtual doing a virtual cam right now, what they see is the entire stream. So they would not, they would see me in the corner and they would see all of themselves and everything mm. else that goes with it, right? So I would be like really small within the camera placement of, of you know, what everything. they see. Yeah. So it's, it's it's okay, but it's not like the best solution. But I do think that people will have issues with like needing two cams, virtual cam isn't working or whatever. Um, I don't even know if Streamlabs, does Streamlabs have a uh, virtual camera capabilities? I don't even know. I know it's not You're like- You're cutting out on our call, just so mm -hmm. you know. I'm cutting out on your call. Yeah, yeah when you well, came back in and joined the room too. with your camera, it started glitching and like oh. loading for a while. Now you're back and you're yeah. fine, but oh, okay. it was doing that for a while. It was like stuttering. Gotcha, gotcha. It does, okay. Zoom and MS Teams only have a generic waiting screen while you're in the lobby waiting to join. Yeah. I mean, but again, like... But that's Zoom. That's not a production, right? If Twitch is making this with production in mind and the fact that streamers are going to use this yeah. to bring people on... You need to have those touches like somebody brought up can mods like handle the production side of things it would be great if you could invite your mod to be able to manage letting people into the rooms if you're just wanting to focus on production and you have a production manager that you want to have handle that side of things that would be really awesome yeah i think that is planned because when they did showcase the features on their show there was some sort of moderation capabilities. So I think that is something that's going to be a thing. I think that it definitely this, is. This feels easy. Yes, it does. That's what I was going to say. It's it's definitely very simple. Um, there's like that initial hurdle of figuring it out. But once it's set up, like I don't have to do anything anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to reset up everyone's browser sources. Right. I think it just is. It needs more production stuff if it wants to cater to People who do higher end like talk shows, formal shows, mm -hmm. um, you know, as a casual streamer, this is like gonna be good enough probably. But I think this could be a tool that helps to raise the bar in terms of production. It just it needs as a host, you need more control. It would be nice if I'm maybe down the road if it's not something that they can do right away. But if there was a way for you to show us things, right? So like if you wanted to share your mm -hmm. screen. Us. like if we're all watching a video together or something like that it would be nice for mm. there to be some capability in the chat for us to have an extra window for something that you're sharing with us or something like that because a lot of the yeah. times when people do talk shows it's like oh we're responding to this clip or reacting to this and you can get a more genuine reaction if we're all in the same place instead of being like okay everyone three two one push the button play yeah that that is intended um that was definitely part of the reveal was a share screen button um 
And I think it's going to allow anyone to share their screen, like if you give them the power to. So if someone wants to That's show something cool. on their side, you as a host, you could say, okay, let's turn on their screen. I think I that think would be amazing because like for people who do games with friends, mm -hmm. sometimes it's really limiting and hard when like you only get that one person's perspective of the game. Yeah. And having a production person who could actually be like, I'm switching to this cam or like, like this screen now, and you could see the different ones, like that'd be amazing for like tournaments already kind of do that, but like to be able to do that on your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I'm mostly curious to see like we're just all talking, we're not doing extra stuff. Like, how does the system handle if we're all gaming at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's gonna depend on your your internet too. Cause like right now, Loco and I are in the same place. We have the same IP address so it's like the system was having issues with me even like watching the stream at the same time so you mm. know it would probably be different like you guys might be able to do some stress tests by like pulling up games right now but if I do anything it's probably going to crash stuff on my end yeah uh question for the guests would it be useful to have a separate view of the host and the live stream that everyone else sees so you would be able to see yes. me, and then you'd also be yeah. able to see like the the stream. Yes. Yeah, being able to see the stream would be fantastic because I'll have it up on two screens, right? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. have it up on mobile, so I can see what the layout looks like because our layout looks slightly different than you know what we're seeing here in the call. I mean, that'd be helpful. I mean, I'm right now. I just I'm using the two monitors. So I've got the guest star here and the actual logo stream here, so it's easier. Mm -hmm. But um, if it was integrated, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd yeah, I mean, maybe with that side panel pop out chat, maybe that slides out and there's like the little version of the stream at the top and then the chat box down below. That's like the access to the live chat. And then maybe over on the other side, there's the panel for the, you know, the chatting lounge chat for any communication that needs to happen. But we don't want to say it on screen like you were saying, like, oh, I need to go in five minutes or I have a meeting right now, you know, stuff like that. Does it let you full screen one of the guests easily? No, there's no way to focus someone. Um, I don't know that, I don't think that would work um, with the way that it's set up. So if there was like one browser source for everyone, then maybe that's something that they could do. But as it is, everyone is set up individually. Um, so if I wanted to do that, I would set up basically a scene for each guest slot and that would be like a full screen setup. And then as like, maybe I, I have an Elgato stream deck and I could say, hey, let's full screen this person who's talking. They're telling, you know, an elaborate story. We don't need anyone else's scene. You could do that. Um, so that's that's on your end. Like you have full capabilities to kind of set that up. And I think that's like a really cool thing that you can do is like you can take things to the next level because you have everyone's individual camera. So. Like, let's say you want to make one person full screen and then everyone else maybe is like small on the side. Like you could totally do that in OBS on, on your own. And that's actually one thing I, I do want to test is what the quality looks like if one person is full screen and at 1080p, I want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to create, I'm creating a scene here that has the same link, but let's say it's guest star one full is what I'm going to call it. So same same link uh, that Christy has, but instead of a low resolution, I'm going to try 1920 by 1080. We stream at 936p, so there's a little bit of downscaling, but not a whole lot. Okay, Christy, you are you have taken over the entire stream. Oh my god. Hi. Hold on, I can't hear you. Er, er. Okay. But we can still, but I can still see everyone else in the call. So doesn't that mean that they're going to be able to hear them? Yeah, they can. They are still technically live. Oh. I am. I'm trying to break it. So I'm seeing if there's any artifacting that could occur, any issues. There is actually some, but I don't know if that is because we're on the same connection. So I'm going to replace Chrissy's test with Dylan. And Dylan's coming in. Holy cow. Ooh, uh, you actually froze. No oh, 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 
Oh, okay. Dylan, you're full screen. <gasps> Hello. How's it going? It's going. Um, yeah. Okay, this is your opportunity to dance in front of everyone. Uh, and... Oh, that's not happening. I mean, Why? Just, that, that's not happening. <laughs> nope, you're going to get some uh, water bottle sips and um, and and then that. Uh, Move your arms about. a lot. Move your arms a lot. Um, you Create a, e a the lot e of frames. The are chilling down there, by the way. You can see them. They're all huddled up down there. Faster, go faster, go faster. Oh, faster, 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 faster. Put your faster, hands faster. in front of the camera so you're creating a lot of frames. <laughs> All right, it's it's holding on. So this is why, as a as a tip for streamers who are gonna set this up, don't set up your sources in 1080p or even 720p because unless they're actually that big, what's gonna happen is you can see the nameplates are already kind of small for 1080p. So if we were to shrink Dylan down and say, hey, we got to fit five people on the screen. We got to make you small. Maybe we'll make you like uh, even this small. You can no longer read the nameplate. Um, so small. Yeah. So that's that's just something to keep in mind there. Um, just go for the size that you actually want it to be. Um, but you must keep a 16-9 aspect ratio. All right. I'm going to get everyone back on. Can you actually like do that whole like alt change the viewable area thing um Sorry. it's been oh yes I've... yes you can totally do that See? if you wanted to but obviously like the name card's always going to be in the same place and you might be like okay i've adjusted your screen to this so you have to move over like here now yeah so that's why i think the suggestion christy had of being able to move the nameplate would be nice because let's say you know i want to make everyone into a box and i want to go through and like manually crop everyone like i cannot crop anyone from the left because it will just crop out the name tag i mean if unless you don't want it you want to crop it out but then it's like yeah so you can manually crop people if you wanted to um but that's the caveat you could, can't crop the left out if, if you want that nameplate I think that the sizes of the nameplates, like for, for having this many people, I think it's okay. Um, but, but chat, what do you guys, I mean, I guess it's impossible on mobile, but that's probably gonna be always yeah. a hindrance, right? Christy's muted for you guys. Um, I think she's just not talking. Oh. For chat, maybe. I, I can't hear her. Can you guys hear her? It says she's lighting up. <laughs> Man, some amazing life advice we're getting from Chrissy right now. I guess chat will just yeah. never get to hear it. Chrissy's actually giving away the secret yeah, to true. growing on stream. She's using some interesting hand gestures. What are you talking about? Stream growth, right? Like growing, a, <laughs> not anything else, right? Like we can hear you, Christy. What? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Might have so to refresh her browser, browser source thing. Oh, hey, could you hear her the whole time? Uh, not when she turned yeah. off her and but yeah. Okay. Let's try to refresh on my side. It's all right. <laughs> I half I half thought Loco was messing with you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a troll. She's oh, a queen I can't of trolls. Hear her. Damn. Wait. So you thought I was messing with her and you all went along with it? <laughs> Who's yeah, the real that's troll? Why I was like, hold up number two <laughs> because I know Kronzi and Rini could hear me. Oh wow. Okay, Dylan no, I wasn't saying anything. So he was. Just... You're back now. I can't hear Dylan. <laughs> you can't hear Dylan. No, we it, can hear Dylan. It must be switching scenes or something. We can hear Dylan. This is on us, I think. Sorry for the bugs. Yeah, I think it. So this is anyone that you made giant. You can't hear anymore. I said, yeah. It's like I set up a oh. second browser source. So let me test it again. I'm going to grab Rini's link. Hmm, Rini. She's meeting you next. I hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set up a new browser source. I'm gonna call it Guest Star Five. I want to come over and play with your cats now. Oh, please Thank do. You. I'm making an away screen. <laughs> okay, I got Rini twice now, and now. So Rini, say something. Okay. So now what is gonna happen <laughs> is. I'm gonna we're gonna have double greeny voices in a second here here you go twitch staff like if you make a second browser source with that person the previous 
browser source doesn't work. It or it just mutes. The video is still there. The audio is now coming from the new browser source. Now, if I refresh Rini's first browser source. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Interesting. She puts up with so much. I love her. <laughs> this is a great experiment. I refreshed Rini's browser source, and now the original browser source is working in terms of audio, and now the new one uh. is not. So it's no, there's no double. It's only just one browser whichever source. Whichever one's just most recently been exactly. accessed, I guess. Yeah. That's so interesting. I need so them. you could, in theory, like if you needed to do one on one time, like set up different screens with each browser source, having them sized correctly, and then just swap them, but like keep the main one going so you can keep your audio. Mm, yeah, I think it would, it, it, could, would yeah. it would have to be like. No, they, 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 this is something that they're going to fix. fix it. Yeah, because <laughs> if I go Mike's back like, to, I'm writing a dip. if I go back to the full screen scene, that's a different, like, it's the same browser link, but it's a different, like, source technically. So mm -hmm. if I wanted to full screen Dylan and then go back, I don't want to have, like, nope, two nope, Dylans on one screen. So, um, yeah, that's going to have to change. No so, yeah, we found a, another bug. I love that. Someone asked something earlier. Uh, I assume you can't turn off the nameplates. No, you cannot turn off. I cannot turn them off. I can't click on them. Oh. They don't do anything. Yeah. I do As love them, but I would like the option to turn them off. Yeah. Yeah. As a viewer, yeah. I wish there was a way that I could like interact somewhere. So like if I wanted to follow one of these streamers, it'd be nice to have an easier way of doing that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, that's actually a really good idea. Uh, if I mean, hmm. Trying to think of how Ooh, Twitch would do that. Be like, here's our call. I have an like... idea. Top of chat where there's like the the bit oh, leader, whatever, yeah. just like an extra box underneath that that says guests on stream, and it you has could, like little follow buttons for each of them. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. it would automatically come based on who you let in from backstage to the thing. It would just say whoever is attached. It would automatically take your username and put it in there. That yeah. way people would then people don't have to be like, oh, who's on? If they're not reading the nameplates, it's gonna be in chat for them right there. Yeah. Almost like a pinned message. Mm -hmm. Hey Blackjack. Or even like even something on the bottom sorry, of the screen too. Yeah, sorry. Because like when you have a squad streaming, it's like squad streaming with so and so. Mm -hmm. All right. So I do have another idea. Um this is kind of like not a, a necessity, but more like a, hey, let's add some more, let's make this more feature rich in the future. Um, some sort of, hmm, I'm trying to think of how this would best be used like generally, but some sort of like short form answer that the streamer could customize um, that would show up as another toggleable um like kind of like a name tag type thing and the, the main reason i'm thinking about this is like pronouns like that so when i mm -hmm. use um video ninja i i make people write their pronouns like as part of their screen name but mm -hmm. obviously you can't do that with twitch because it's automatically your twitch name so some way to like you know a streamer could say a sh you know maybe they want to maybe they're doing a, a a game show right and there's teams and there's team red and team blue right the streamer could basically say, okay, in that short form answer, put your team, right? So your team red, put mm -hmm. red. And so you, as a, as the host, you can tur turn on showing that you can customize like, you know, the prompt of what people need to put in there. Um, but yes, for, for RPG, DT RPGs. Yes. For D and D sessions, the character names, mm -hmm. like that would be massive. Some of that stuff is like, yeah, I mean, yeah, technically you can like do that outside of that. Right. Um, I mean, a lot of this you can do outside of this, but the point is to make this like really seamless and um, kind of encompass like what a streamer needs. And that's, that's, I think, a pretty good one to include. It's not like a necessity, but it's more like maybe like a year two type development. I don't think they can hear Dylan on stream. <laughs> oh, is, no, we can't hear oh, Dylan, is Dylan on stream. Is Dylan talking? He yeah, was he was. Oh, sorry, Dylan. Oh, my I, God. I, I, I'm <laughs> <Logan>. sorry. <laughs> Thought I fixed it already. It's I got distracted with the Rini test. 
All right, Dylan, you're back on the air. Welcome. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was saying that uh, Hero's f facial expression. I had no idea what was happening in Hero's <laughs> webcam for the last, like, 20 minutes because it's... <laughs> I was having a snack, okay? It didn't look like you were having a snack. Like I mean, actually, maybe stroke. we're having a snack, but okay. Hero, how are you going to be a professional streamer if one okay. hour in you need a snack already, okay? Yeah, don't you know <laughs> streamers don't eat or go to the bathroom or drink water? Exactly. You also don't have legs, right? No exactly. legs. Exactly. <laughs> no legs. <laughs> like, what is going on in that forest? I'm so concerned. <laughs> Um, is there a maximum amount of invites you can send out? You can um, only have six people live, but you can I don't send know. out a ton more. Right? I'm going to invite people. Um, I'm inviting Carly. Uh, Menagerie. Wow, just inviting them to leave them out in the cold. Um, Menagerie earlier said that he could test mobile if he wanted. Like I said, you guys don't have to actually um, join. All right, I'm inviting five people. We have one slot open, so that means there would be four extra people. I don't think it matters oh, because you don't invite people. You don't people don't join in order of where they are in the queue. You can slot you can just anyone. Select them. Yeah, anyone who's ready. Yeah, but it's sort of for a self management thing. Uh, like if you are hosting, right. Yeah. yeah, actually, that's a pretty decent idea of like if you need to organize who's like coming dragging on them when. within the queue. Yeah, you yeah. cannot do that right now. I can't move them. There's, I think I can invite anyone. Like. I'm gonna invite um, Lyric. I tried to invite yeah. myself actually, and I could not. Jo I didn't see an invite. I'll try again, but invite your alt account. Oh gosh. I invited myself, but I I don't see any. Invite someone twice. I'll invite Christy Skyler. Christy's accepting the invite. Oh boy, is this gonna work? Did I disappear? No, you're still no, here. I'm still there. There's also like a backstage. So when you gave me the invite and it popped up, I clicked it and then it took me out of this call. So it didn't show me that I was still in it. It was just like, Loco has invited you and then click to join. And then I had to do my camera settings again. And then it was like, join backstage. And then it pulled me in here. Yeah, the slot five says guest has disconnected. So I'm going to kick out your, I'm going to remove you that's in the queue. I'm going to, let me show this actually. All right, I'm removing Christy from more the queue. Carly. Okay, I'm back now. Oh boy, am I gonna regret this? No, there's no regrets when it comes to Carly Cartoons. <gasps> Carly. Oh no. Hey, yeah, Carly. You're alive. No. Look at this cutie. <laughs> Look <laughs> at you. Party oh now. my gosh. Don't break oh the rules. Gosh. Or I'm kicking I you out. Well, I don't. I don't know what the rules are. The yes, rules you are do. What? You don't, modded don't for years. There are no yes. rules. Oh, oh, oh your channel rules. Okay, I'll, be, I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, Menagerie wants to join on mobile. Yeah, dog. Here, I'll be Okay. I need pigeons. I'll, I'll slot in Menagerie for now in, in Corley's spot. Oh my Hello. god, that's what your face looks like. There it is. <laughs> oh my hey, god, yeah, you got yeah. the, the audio working too. Yay! Yeah, I've oh, got a... Uh, hey. Headphones. How does it Technology. sound? Nice. Good. Oh, cool. And I can scroll up and see everybody. The notification didn't actually pop up inside Twitch, but when you go to notifications, it was there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't work. You have to actually type in the URL into Chrome. Like by uh, hand? You couldn't yeah, copy? The little button. Yeah, I couldn't copy it, and the button doesn't work either. Mm -hmm. But They once probably you don't want you to use it browser, on mobile yet. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We found Too late. We found the way. <laughs> do you have Android or do you Take have iPhone? Twitch. Android. Mm. Mm. What um, does it look see. like on mobile? You said you had to like scroll to see everyone or something? Uh, yes, right now I take, can see take logo screenshots. at the top. I was on iPhone and it was not having it at all. Actually, I could probably do a screen record. And now Corley is on in Christie's place. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have my son. <laughs> He's my crunchy son. He Her. has a lot of feathers coming in right now. Oh, yeah? Yes. Goodness. He's crunchy. Is it pretty easy to manage incoming, outgoing guests and invites? Yeah, it is pretty easy. It, it definitely could be better. So let me show you the production side of things. So this is what it looks like. Um, Dylan got DC'd. 
and so this is all the slots so oh. the thing that's like a little cumbersome is you can't switch slots with people readily so like if i wanted to move someone to a different slot i'd have to basically click these remove them from the stream or i mean you'd have to ultimately click the three dots and then hit move to queue and then they would be here and then you slot them into the new slot if someone is there then that person would get kicked out and back into the queue so from here muha like for example like once they're they're actually ready to go uh on the guest side you click slot guest and then you choose what slot you want them in um and then so if someone is already there they would get kicked out and back into the queue so no one gets permanently removed from the session unless they close it themselves or the streamer ends the call or you hit the x button the actual x button on someone's name i lost audio because i was doing that screen record so i can't hear oh but yeah that works at least this is our chance to talk smack about menagerie who wants to go first because he can't hear us i want to still got the pancakes. stream up ah, <laughs> dang it <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to know about my Luigi. It's big Luigi. I would like a giant Waluigi um, thing. But yeah, so. And then tiny Mario. Oh. Giant Luigi. So small. Tiny Mario. So small. So, in terms of like inviting guests, Wes, I know you're asking. Major. <laughs> they teased a bunch of stuff, but um, it's not available yet. So, the only way to invite people is to manually invite people at the moment. Um, but eventually, you're going to be able to like make a favorite list of invites, see past guests, um, be able to like allow people to join right from stream and like filter who's allowed to join and how they're allowed to join. So are they a sub? Are they a follower? Do you follow them? Are they like a mutual, right? You're going to be able to customize all that and then just have like a queue, right? You say, hey, the invites are open. You can join from chat. If you're a sub, all you do is click that link. Then I'll be able to see who is joined, who's ready um and again with it with a chat like having like a a room chat would be great um because let's say the mods could say hey what are you here for right if you're doing like a a live like call-in type show you want to be able to vet like why they're here um maybe maybe one of the mods is like backstage right they're backstage and so actually this is a question if you're backstage can you talk to each other i don't remember dylan i'm gonna throw you off the screen and I'll throw a hero off here. And you guys should be able to hear us, but we can't hear you. But can you guys hear each other? Still shaking Seems his like head. A okay. He's got a mute mm. symbol on him. Right, but that's just because they are muted. For like, so it mutes for the whole room, basically. Oh, it's muted to us. And to each other. I'm putting you back on, Dylan. Really? What were you trying to say? Fish it says Mike oh. is disabled while backstage. Hero, really? There you go. About to give you the boot. Um, it says your mic is disabled. Okay, so like that would I think being able to talk backstage would be a good thing. Um, and there's no way to make myself backstage if I wanted to like let the show run, but then go behind the scenes to talk to someone. Like that'd be a cool thing to do able to push yourself backstage and chat well you were you were able to talk to christy backstage before going before starting i believe right? yeah but that's if so that i think if no one is pushed live then we are mm. all backstage talking so let's do that let's let's go okay so now my status has changed as backstage can you guys hear me Yes. Yes. Can you hear and, us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. So now we okay. can all. Right. Currently, the host is only backstage if no one is live. Yeah. So I'd love to be able to, even if someone is live. So if I push Dylan live, now we're all live. And so only Dylan and I can communicate. And Hero and Kranti can't communicate to each other. But they should be allowed to coordinate. Right, because then you could have a producer on in the background to sync up people and vet guests and stuff. I'm just thinking from like a more a higher produced standpoint. Um, 
And I would like to be able to go backstage. So if we're doing our show, for example, let's say we're over here and Dylan and I are doing a show and let's say there's like, I don't know, maybe heroes on too. Let me put hero back on. So because it was a marble cake. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> How can streams be live if our eyes aren't real? So let's say I need to go backstage and talk with the next guest and just say, hey, heads up, you're about to come on. Um, you know, make sure that you do this and this and keep in mind, no f bombs, blah, blah, blah. Let's say like, let's say I had to do that myself. Maybe none of my mods were around, right? Then um, I would say, okay, let me hit this button. I go backstage. They keep talking, right? They continue the conversation. I say, I'll be right back. and. The show can keep going and I can handle the guests backstage, right? Like, that would be really awesome. Can you resend to me? I want to try another cam. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think that's pretty much, like, we're pretty much done our testing. I think we've, we've kind of, we spent the last, I don't know, two hours and it's held up for the most part, you know, with little, little bugs here and there, but it's, it's looking pretty decent for an alpha so far, actually. Um, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, Kronzi. I will say just yeah. just one thing I noticed yeah. just at the end. The um, so as a guest, whenever we're backstage, we have white and black, and we we like, sorry, we go like grayscale. Yeah. Um, and I notice that, like other people that are like in background, uh, the back room being in grayscale, but I've noticed uh, when you're from your host perspective, those people aren't in grayscale. Yeah, it's a small thing that would probably be better to be uniform like that. Yeah. So I. <sighs> I, that's interesting because I think that um, from a visual standpoint, it definitely makes it easier to see who's not live and who is, but also what if their camera was actually like that or was having issues, right? Like then, now you can't oh, tell true. if like they're, what their actual feed would be. And I think that's kind yeah. of important. So um, I think that, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I think from a from a host perspective, like, you know, you still have the little push icon. Maybe if that's bigger, maybe there's like um, like a, a glow around them if they're actually live, maybe something more that's more significant. But yeah, I think I think having not messing with the, the feed is probably best. Different color rings around the camera. Yeah, I mean, maybe just like a, a ring, a green ring, if you are a push mm -hmm. or something. Um, OK, so. Menagerie, what what did you want to do? Let me push you back on. What were you gonna break? Oh, you're back on mobile. Yeah, I was just testing the back, the rear camera now. Oh. That's. Oh. I was on front camera before, and I had mm -hmm. to hold the phone pretty far away. So I'm just trying to test that. Okay, so you can actually choose which camera you are. Yeah. Connected to nice. And mic too, so I could, I could. Uh, select wired microphone or the phone microphone. Nice. Awesome. But yeah, no, you still kind of have to hold the phone pretty far to get a decent. Yeah. Uh, like view. Are you like a full arm's length? Yeah. Right now I'm full arm's length. Oh, wow. It's kind of, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm holding the phone normally, you're going to get just a big old face. <laughs> nice. Forehead yeah, cam. See? There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 kind of awkward. Probably better if you do front face, but yeah. Excellent. We have the stream. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's incepting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Menagerie, what have you done? Oh my god, this it's going to go break forever. the internet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hang up now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Really appreciate y'all taking the time to test this with me. Easy yeah yeah sure yeah this is fun um so yeah like i said um you know as new features roll out for this we'll we'll come back give it a look see how it works um i'll i'll give you guys updates as um as as time goes on and um we will continue to probably break it it's gonna be great i'm, I'm surprised we did not break it that much like we only broke it a little bit here and there you know what i mean like i thought it was gonna be catastrophic like laggy and crashing and we had a couple disconnects but for the most part it held up so you know kudos twitch yeah mostly worked for two hours that's pretty solid yeah yeah that is that's, yeah that's for something in the alpha 
Yeah, definitely. It's working great. Yeah. All right, I'm going to end the call. Thank you guys so much for, for joining. Yeah. No yeah. All right. Boom. Session has ended. We did it, chat. We did it. Very, very cool. Excited to see how this evolves. Nice job, Twitch team. Well done, testers.